to. You need to go this way. More uprisings there, that's fine. And that looks like it's going to be it for the time being, but I've got like three full stacks over here. No, two full stacks, one of them's down here. Which can actually start drilling. And we do have a border with Moravi. Moravi is allied to Azuran. And Imarina and Betis Masaraka, so that would be a war against Madagascar. That is another way of drawing Azuran into another conflict. Or I could then co-belligerize them. Although, honestly, I think I need to do another yemen azuran co belligerized war. And in fact, if I co belligerize Azuran at that point, I could also theoretically co belligerize Moravi in order to steal all of the ivory and the gold over here. Of which there is much. But that's something not yet. That, that's a little more in the future, I think. That's a mountain province, oh dear. Let's do a quick consolidate before we join that fight. Uh, we are, however, way stronger than them because this is all artillery. Oops. Their stack is going to arrive soon, but they'll be out of morale. And we may even stack wipe them before they arrive. When do you get here? too late just yeah they backed off Britain no longer considers Austria a rival farm estates being done France no longer considers Russia a rival France and Austria are rivals that's actually good because that's going to strengthen my own alliances uh, let's go through you guys into the fray You arrive, 1st of July, that's like two days, yeah, you're fine. One day, even. So how long am I going to need to wait for these cores? Because, oh dear. Um, Kaffir's going to be feeling bad for a while. Especially as all I want to take is this. That is 13% over... Hang on. This is only a... No, it's 95. I thought this was only supposed to be a... Oh, no, we took the extra land because the other cores had finished already. Never mind. I suggest you change your uniform trousers to brown, say the Mamelukes. Really, Mamelukes? Really? You're insulting me? Oh, that's rich. But also fine, because I'll just do it right back again. Although... This doesn't seem to give me any... Power projection. It's just going to cost me the prestige. Well, I'm going to do it anyway, because it's going to make my allies like me more. May your sky be filled with comets, Mamluks. Anything on cord I can release as a vassal. I don't want to. Speaking of, though, how are the colonies doing? Baragas is going okay. Loans, that's what I should have been repaying when I had that huge chunk of change which I used to build shipyards. Never mind. Uh, also, curious about something. Colonist chance, where's that? Thirty-three percent chance. Isn't there a mouse over I can look at? There it is. Production efficiency does indeed affect settler chance. Hmm. Interesting. 
and I think that economic gives production efficiency. So basically economic ideas gives you a 5% higher chance of getting settlers. And I think that settler chance would be anywhere, so that would include just deving up your own provinces rather than just going for the other stuff. So economics even better for just going tall. Interesting. Aristo and Eco gives 20 production efficiency as well. Crikey, so you could get 15% from that. That's quite a lot. Moravi's going after Melindy. I thought you might. I thought you might. So it's just over here. So Portuguese Mexico continues to grow. Bastions in North Italy is finished. Are finished. Good, 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 good. Rebels mostly dead. Let's go and ensure that we retake Kaffa. It does look like it'll just be one province. In fact, let's move you there. You can go here. You can go here. That's probably where their army is hiding, however. So this 7,000 might be in for a bit of a rude awakening. Native assimilation. Nice. I'm taking Azar back again. Good, good, good. Global trade. Here it is. Goods have been moved across continents since antiquity, but where this was previously limited to, to a set... Oh, wow, I am not reading well. But where this was previously limited to a set number of routes and goods, such as manufactured goods of India and China finding their way across the Indian Ocean and along the Silk Road, all trade is now increasingly becoming part of a greater world network. With the discovery of the Americas, sea routes around Africa and the crossing of the Pacific Ocean, local trade networks are being connected into... A one world spanning intercollected uh, thingy web. And yes, I did get it. 100 admin, 100 diplo, 100 military, 20 prestige, 25 government reform, and Genoa. Genoa got the global trade hub. Okay, I'm not giving Genoa to Venice. <laughs> no way. Genoa's trade power is now 46. Genoa is not even a level 3 yet. Interesting. Hey, Finsand. Haven't seen you around for a while. How are you doing? Hope you had a good Christmas. I do feel a bit bad for utterly crushing Kaffa like this, but I do need to wait for these cores to finish. Morocco declared we're on Castile again. Morocco could try and grab some more of Castile, so we might need to do something about Morocco at some point soon. Discovery of the East Indian trade routes has ushered in an age of the spice trade. With new trade routes available, controlling the flow of spices like pepper or cinnamon has become more important than ever. Portugal got it. Really? Portugal's not over in Indonesia yet. I thought that was required. Huh. Or maybe they just need to have a merchant present there, that's possible. Speaking of which, where are my merchants at the moment? Because we are getting from Aden, we could start trying to pull in from Gujarat or Coromandel. And we should probably put one in Ivory Coast. 
sooner rather than later, and probably one into the Cape of Good Hope so we can get that steering bonus going on in there. That's a lot of shipyards done. So my naval force limit is now 142, so we can probably get another 60 ships. I don't usually count transports because their upkeep is so low anyway. Right, let's go and merge you guys back together again. Let's bring you back home. And then, quite frankly, I'm just going to start drilling you. Let's repay one of those loans. Still got one to go, but that's fine. Interest isn't astonishingly high. So, speed four. We are just waiting for coring to finish at this point. Thankfully, this colony is growing pretty quickly. Tropical wood. Very good. And a general died, so we're going to need to get another one. Military tradition has actually gone up, so we can get between 6 and 14 pips. Let's take another look. I put my paperwork. Okay, who are we going to go with this time? Smiller. Oops. Ooh, you're rather good. Four, six, four, two. Nice, you're probably a level 3, aren't you? Yeah, you are! Glorious. Drill. You're already drilling. Is my professionalism at these days? 70%. Nice. What ideas do I have? We are currently running with innovative, trade, expansion and offensive. So a rather eclectic collection, but they've actually done pretty well for us. my innovativeness at the moment. 39%. So we're getting 3.9% cheaper to all power costs. New trade good in Holhavi is producing spices. Perfectly timed. Holhavi is growing pretty quickly too. Let's also make you into a trade center. You already are. You already are. You guys probably already are. Yes, good. Oh, crikey, Kaffa came back in a big way. Where the hell were you hiding? Oh well, this just means I need to kill you again. And Frogger Pirate died, but I don't think we need another Admiral for the time being. Castellan Rebels, are you actually gonna... Damn it. That's a problem, because I have no transports over there. I think I'm going to need to just build a transport fleet. Uh, first of all, I want to double check when this loan's going to run out, so I don't need to pay another round of interest. We've got three years. Uh, that's fine. So let's go ahead and just build 26 transports. Because I'm going to need two transport fleets anyway. We have a global empire now. We need to protect it. Twenty five, twenty six, perfection. Rebels have risen up and will be reduced to dead bodies. They're making a run for it again. Or else they're just going to sit in Darfur, which is possible, I guess. Uh, you do that. You head over here. Let's see if we can just catch their armies out. How are the cores looking? Uh, 1602. When 1602? January 1602. Nice. 
Right, the other thing I did want to double check was to see how global trade is spreading pretty nicely. I mean, it's going to spread to us really quickly anyway. We still have another eight years. Uh, what edicts are we running, if any? Just trade in a couple of important locations. Oh, and conversion? No defensiveness. Oh, this was from the Mumbaluk Wars. Yeah, I want you back on trade power. And... You can also be trade power because we are currently exporting Cairo. So that population doesn't actually need to get converted. It's going to happen automatically. Because we're currently expelling the minorities. And Cena still needs to be converted, so that's fine. We can make that happen. Just remembered we did just get access to mills, so I wanted to see if there were any other mills that we could build. The Ottomans will cede Giju and Bucharest to Austria. Ottomans will announce their claims on Sofia, Vidin, Skopje, Brankivek, Branivsevo, Temesh, Sirmien, Kosovo, Rashka, Oltenien, Severin, Eisenmacht. Ottomans will be forced to give income, paid 700 ducats. So yeah, Austria just took those two provinces. That was it. Plus just denied them a bunch of territory. Right, let's split you into four. One, two, three, four. And there we go. Cairo should now be converted. Protestant religion. Minorities have also increased development in the colony by plus six. So suddenly, Veraguas is a Dev 9 province. Let's go for Guyami. Two, four, two, two, two. We could go for a four from Sicily. Have we accepted Sicilian? We have, but that's going to disappear, so we can start accepting some other stuff. Cause is still ongoing, got another six months to go. Are there... Wow, Venice got global trade before I did. Wait, really? Oh, they do have a world port here, this is true. Yeah, fair enough. Oromo settlers, Hargesa gets Oromo migration. So I'm going to guess that's over here as well. Uh, no. Growth of the perfume industry in Verona. Oh look, there's some lovely filth over there, says Oyo. Growing merchant class as well as increasingly demanding social code amongst the nobility and the upper classes has led to an increased demand for perfume. The halls of the grand palaces are now expected to have a likeable scent as well as majestic decor. So Verona is now producing incense. And my full stack of troops is going to go and fight them. And the transports are starting to get finished. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this stack and basically just send them north. Ready to get picked up by the uh, new transports. Which should be appearing. Hmm. 
Mombasa's had an uprising. Uh, not a problem. Go and pick them up. Stop drilling. And we can pay a loan. And we are, once again, debt free. Glorious. And now I am going to start saving... Although, eight years still. We have, we have a long time to spread the technology. Two provinces now have it. Uh, Valencia. Yeah, okay. So, having that level three center of trade really does speed up the adoption of global trade. Let's head down to Rosetta. I think I'm going to send you guys to Rosetta so you don't need to move quite so far. Mexico is an absolute mess nowadays. Crazy. Hasselhofster has died! That's unacceptable. Let's go ahead and hire a new person then. So this is going to be... Tukayim. Except I just marked off the wrong person. Alright, this is going to be Trooper, and then we'll go for Torquayim in the future. Uh, good enough. It's a level 3. Level 6 fire, which in this era is good. Absolutely acceptable. Right, it's January, so these cores should be on the verge of being finished. <laughs> the day after I say that. Okay, and now we can actually make peace. So is it just those two provinces that I want? I mean, these two are also in Aden. But the trade power they provide is really negligible. Berber isn't. And I really don't care about the Ethiopian trade node. There's not a lot of money coming out of it. Main thing from this war is Zyla and also Assab so I can start connecting up to my Egyptian provinces so we can move troops between the Mediterranean and Africa at will. Thirteen percent overextension. All of that for thirteen percent overextension. Oh, they could have paid me money as well. Ah, oh well. Cool. So, next up. Yemen. Three more years. So we have three years to finish off all the cores and stuff. And also to make sure that we are getting some... Fabrications done. Ooh, I can upgrade my rank. We are now an empire. Click. We are now Cultural Union of Iberian Culture. All Iberian cultures are now accepted in our realm. Which also includes Mexican and Brazilian. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Royal marriage from Ferrara. I will accept, though that's not honestly going to do very much for me. In fact, I shouldn't have accepted that. That was a waste of legitimacy. France, though. France, I will definitely accept. And we will core those two. Right, we should also, I think, be able to core... If... Nope. Damn it. Could cause some other things, but I'm going to hold off for the time being. How's that siege going? Ooh, we actually might lose that siege just because it's taken us so long to move troops out. Come on, people. In fact, Dalmatia. Let's go to Dalmatia. Oh, there's a ship missing. We're going to be sailing with 25. No matter. We need to get you guys over here. 
yesterday. Mamluks are no longer a valid rival. Oh, and we need advisors. Um, we could go for some more production efficiency. That's a 5% settler chance right there. Now that we know this. Although you are not upgradable. You are the only person who is. Kind of have to go with him. And... Maintenance versus force limits. Go for the maintenance. Although, considering how much military power we have, we probably didn't need to do that. Toledo has fallen. That's very annoying. Because it's going to mean I have to see to that back again. Right, you can just start drilling. You can just start drilling. How are we doing for rebel factions? She here could rise up. So we'll prepare some troops, and then we'll go and deal with that particular problem. So I need another rival. rival. Um, probably the common... Oh, Morocco. Let's rival Morocco. It's time that we strike at them. They are taking a little bit too much of Castile for comfort. I think I might well put Castile out of their misery myself. Although, this is just going to become a problem of how much overextension can I burn down at a time. Because I'm not going to be able to really go after Castile until I've done Ajaran. And then Ajaran, I'm probably going to want to go over to India. Hey, Minwolf. Ahmed... Alcoli, loved your Hoi for Egypt streams. Well, I appreciate that, thank you. It's going to be a while until the next Hearts of Iron ones. As soon as Man the Guns is out. I'm, I'm curious, I, I've got to admit, I was watching the um, Hearts of Iron stream with Bratton and Daniel were doing, the official Paradox ones. And it looks decent, especially the Dutch, but I might be slightly biased on that one. Give Castile the land back and then guarantee them. Yeah, I could do. Although they may grow too big that we won't be able to uh, guarantee them anymore. Ooh, hello. Glad I checked that. That would have been annoying. Uh, speaking of colonies, how are they doing? Still growing at decent, decent pace. Diplomatic move. Diplomacy between nations was often affected by random factors and both sides involved. Most of the time, these factors were beyond the control of the foreign ministers involved. Um, so we can get better opinions with Nandongo, or we can just get some Diplo power. I'll take the Diplo power, thank you very much. And we are really nearly done with Ferrara. 